there's been some concern from some people that because we have supplied the pulley with a 1 8 slot which allows our customers to use the machine for all types of slot cars up to a, a 1 8 axle that when you use the pulley on a smaller axle for a Scalectrics car which is about 3 30 second uh, that the eccentric motion that results from using the pulley on a smaller axle uh, is somehow affecting the accuracy of the tyres when being trued. Now I wanted to make this, dem this video just to demonstrate what's actually happening using a dial gauge. Now just to explain, this dial gauge has graduations of 0 0.01 of a millimetre which is less than a thou for those of you who speak in metric uh, about three graduations on the dial we'd be starting to talk about a thou uh, and to put it into perspective about uh, nine graduations on the um, dial would be at the thickness of a piece of paper and about eight graduations on the dial would be about the thickness of a human hair so if we see motion of up to eight uh, graduations on the dial we'll be saying that the tyres are out of round by the thickness of a human hair. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to raise the axle up into the dial gauge. You'll see that needle has just made contact and I'll bring it round to the zero just to sort of give us a reference point. Now I'm going to turn the power supply on uh, at about six volts which is where we would start truing. And there we go. Just to give you an idea of how uh, sensitive this dial gauge is, if I tap the table, you can see that that needle is moving just from the vibration going up through the rubber feet uh, through the table. But if I don't tap and I stop speaking, you can see that that needle is almost perfectly still. Now this is an ideal setup. We're talking about a drill bank axle and machined aluminium wheels. So what happens in a, you know, in the application of using a Scalectrix or an Inco axle, which is what a lot of you are purchasing the machine to use it for. So that's an ideal set, set up, but it's showing that the pulley is not affecting the motion of the wheels. If the axle is straight and the wheels are true, then they will spin in a perfectly concentric uh, motion. Turning the power supply off, I'm just going to show you what does happen if I put an Inco axle. Now this is just an Inco axle that's been trued on the machine just using the normal process. Okay, so once again I'll set up the dial gauge, raise the axle so that we're centered on our reference point. put a drop of oil just so that it's not gripping on the rubber and turn the power supply back on. Now there's a little bit more motion there but these bushes as opposed to the uh, oil lights that I was using on the other axle you can actually feel the movement in there. You, there would be more than the human hairs uh, free play between the axle and the bush uh, but when it's on the machine, it's spinning almost perfectly true. Now, you know, people might say, what happens if you turn the speed up? Well, if I turn the speed up, the tyre starts to grow slightly, but we're still talking less than maybe 0 0.01 of a millimetre, just in that motion. But I suspect that a lot of that motion could actually be coming from the machine itself actually vibrating on the table. If I had the right equipment, I'd like to see if I set the dial gauge up sitting on the base plate, if uh, any of that motion would go away. Uh, but, you know, we're talking one tenth of a human hair uh, movement there, which I think you'd have to agree that for this hobby called slot car racing is pretty good. Now just one more demonstration, just using the uh, Scalectrix F1 axle that I trued on the earlier video. Uh, this axle has plastic, or nylon bushes I should say, not 
necessarily known for their high tolerance or accuracy uh, but let's just see how well or how round we've got these wheels using the machine so I'm just going to center that again on our reference point once again just a drop of oil to stop it gripping on the rubber and we'll fire it up a little bit more motion there uh, but once again less than 0 0.02 you know less than a thou out of round um, maybe a bit more work on the sandpaper we could get rid of that but in reality once you click that back into the car you're going to get more movement in your bushes than that tyre is out of round so hopefully that demonstration just shows that the eccentric motion of the pulley is not having any effect on the uh, motion of the tyres which allows you to true those tyres to as close to perfect as I think is you know reasonable uh, for this type of application you know one or two tenths of a human hair uh, you know how how accurate do we need to be but that's up for you that's for you to decide so thanks for watching and I hope that's answered some of your questions